Okay, Virgo. It's Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and this is your December 13th through the 31st, 2015 bi weekly tarot scope. Um, I want to apologize to you guys um, <clears throat> for not being able to put your videos out as early as I did the other ones. I just um, life got ahead of me and I couldn't get back to doing them. But I'm here now I'm determined to get them in before the 13th fell upon us. Um, I it's just, I don't know, I'm feeling very low energetically this week. So um, I didn't feel, I had some, some moments, but overall I just didn't feel very well. Excuse me. Um, so here I am bringing you what you're looking for. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to the videos, following me on Instagram, and purchasing personal readings from me. I appreciate them all. I appreciate you. Excuse me. I'm just shuffling here. And we're going to find out what this is, uh, what's coming in for Virgo. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. It may, gen it may resonate with some. It may not resonate with you. Uh, with all people, if it resonated with you last week, it's a chance that it, that it may not resonate with you this week. Keep in mind that, you know, these are bi-weekly readings, so it it can go out, it, the energy can tr is transferable. It can be, it could occur two weeks prior to this reading, the dates of this reading, or it can occur two weeks after. So you're talking about a whole monthly span here, also going into at least two weeks in January 2016. So keep that in mind when you're watching these guys, okay? Um, so let's just see what we have here. Virgo. Let's see what you have for Virgo. Sun and Rising. December 13th through the 31st, 2015. Spirit, you have for Virgo. And something different, guys. Um, excuse me, let me know. Um, showing you guys how I shuffle and how I pick the cards is a little different, but I wouldn't be myself if I didn't do something a little different. I never go about things the traditional way. So, let's see, Virgo Spirit, what you have? Some good advice, guidance. Give me one second. You need for the Virgo people. December 13th, December 31st, 2015. I'm doing three cards for the, the week of 13th, three cards for the week of December 20th. And two cards for the last final week. Alright guys, I don't read in reversals. Let me get my cards right and put my little quartz down. Okay, guys. Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. The Moon card. Queen of Cups. Judgment, Six of Wands, ending the month out you have the High Priestess and a, a very excellent card, the Fool. Um, and we're going to actually work our way up this time. I'm going to tell you at the last, the end of the month, guys, um, I feel like it's telling you here 
um, you have, let's let's just start off right here before we even get to the last one. You have four major arcana cards. You have the Moon, Judgment, the High Priestess, and the and the Fool card. So you know, Spirit is continuing to work with you guys, um, and I feel like you have been really going through a, a very big transformative um, change. I feel like you guys have a lot of Virgos are going through a spiritual awakening right now, um, and moving some things out of their lives that no longer serve them and seeing people and seeing themselves for who they truly are um not and i shouldn't say just virgos but i'm talking about the virgos right now this has been an energy that has uh, really trans been transferable to all um all signs but um you know we're focusing on virgos right now so yeah it does apply that you guys have really been going through a lot lately and um you have a lot of people in this this uh, reading too, you have the Knight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. I'm not really sure at this point if they are actually people representing energy, but I feel like there's a lot of people. I don't feel like this is more so energy. Um, but like I said, going start going into this last week, going into the new year, you have the energy of the High Priestess and the Fool card, and I feel like it's just telling you, you know what? Jump out there. I feel like with the high priestess, the high priestess is telling you, you know you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Look deep within yourself. Dig in and get your inner strength here. Because she's a very wise woman and she's very sure of herself. So sure that she doesn't announce. What she, she doesn't. She's not the type of person to announce her, her next move. She's not going to announce to you what you think you should do. She, you know, She's a live and let live type of person. Um... She realizes everybody has to follow their own path. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're realizing that you have to follow your own path. You can't follow the path of what is expected of you or um, what you think is expected of you or how other people are going to see you. This woman is, you know, she's very confident and she doesn't have to display her confidence. She doesn't need approval from anyone else to, to, to ascertain who she is. She, she knows who she is, you know. Otherwise, why would she feel so safe to be out in the middle of the night, leaping around under the moonlight with no clothes on? You know, she's free and she's happy. Why? Because she has a sense of self. She has dug to the very deepest parts of her core and she has learned herself. And she has learned how to recreate herself. She has learned how to, um, she's learned people. She has learned She's learned secrets of, you know, the world and the galaxies. She has very deep knowledge. And so with this deep knowledge, she, she can rest assured that she can do what the hell she want to do. You know, she has her little, I don't know what this is, her little starlit, silk, little nighty thing. And she's just flipping, you know, she's just prancing around on top of water. Just dancing around like a little water lily at night. She doesn't care. She's free to do what she wants to do because she's confident in herself. And so I feel like this is what she's telling you. Believe in yourself is what she's telling you. Believe in yourself and jump out there. You're going into the new year. Do that thing. You know. Oh, wait a minute. Do that thing. You know. The 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 fool card is kind of like shrugging his head, shrugging his shoulders, and they're like, I don't know. I don't. You know. I don't know which way this thing is gonna go. But he's willing to try. And I I feel like that's what she's telling you. Be willing to try. Don't limit yourself. Um, and uh, just looking at the very center of this reading, we have the judgment card. And I feel like this is you. You've been looking at yourself, judging yourself, judging your actions, judging your relationships. Judging, and you know, this is typical as towards the end of the year, or what we perceive as the end of the year. Um, is that, you know, we, we start to go back and look and do a replay of the year and I think this is you I feel like this is you doing that replay looking at who means something who doesn't mean something who you're keeping who you're not keeping you know that's that's what you're doing looking at people who how they treated you how they you know whether they treated you fairly unfairly whatever it however it goes but this is what you're doing and you know when the judgment card comes up in a reading you know for a fact that you are transitioning in your life there's a big transition coming on in your life things after this after this won't be the same you're not going to be the same person anymore okay i feel like virgo um
this has to do with uh, this could do possibly with a I feel like this is a, a maybe a family or a friend relationship could possibly be a I don't really feel like this is a um, I really don't feel like this is love I feel like this could possibly be family um, I, and I said earlier that I didn't really think this could be a um, an energy I actually do now now that I look at it I feel like this could have been some conversations that you could have had with the knight of swords because here you are here this is like you're a babe again you're the page of pentacles this is you starting all over again okay um, and you may have been in cahoots with a person who was an air sign Gemini, Aquarius, Libra um, maybe slightly older, may not be, you know, maybe a male or a female, you know, these energies can, are interchangeable, but um, I feel like there was something that you just didn't, what I feel like is that this person that you possibly, um, you're seeing, you're, you're understanding the illusion or you're seeing the illusion. Or the deception here. Something that wasn't clear. You feel like something wasn't clear within this relationship. You know. I feel like this this, this represents um, misconstrued thoughts. Miscommunication. I see with, the, with this moon sign that uh, I feel like there's stagnation here within this relationship. If you had some type of relationship, any type of dealings with a, with a, and I feel like whoever this person is, it may not be a sword, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, things are still not in the up and th things are still cloudy with where you stand with this person. And um, I feel like by the looks of this page of Pentacles, you're feeling pretty worried about it. He looks a little solemn, you know. He looks like, you know, and he's looking at this moon. Like, he's try I feel like he's, you're trying to figure it out. Like, what the fuck happened? You know? You're, 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 and I feel like you may possibly be dreaming about this thing. Has really, it's in your subconscious. The moon talks about it. Things, thoughts that are lying in your subconscious. You've been, it's, it's there. Here, and you're not really sure what, what happened. Or you you feel that way, you know, um, and it's left you feeling pretty bad, Virgos. As far as um, like I said, for whatever reason, I feel like it's stagnation. I feel like um, it's like time has stopped with this clock here. I feel like it, this looks like a like the inner workings of a clock, and I feel like you know, it's, there's nothing on the card to kind of indicate that there's movement. And that's how I'm seeing like you feel like because this relationship or whatever it is, it hasn't progressed. It just kind of stand like time is standing still. You feel like time is standing still with this person. You know, maybe something was said hastily because the Knight of Swords can talk about things being said impulsively or making impulsive actions. Maybe, maybe you don't know where to go after making a very impulsive action. Maybe this is this is this is you as an action you know you heading into um, an unsure territory but you're heading into it with such determination that you're not taking a real a look at where you're trying to what you're trying to do or what you're trying to truly accomplish you're just moving not being productive um, so however that's what you did and I feel like honestly this is not something that happened within this week but that's the energy that you're coming from. But you know, you, whatever this is, you're looking. It is, and it could be with a knight, knight of, or, or a sword person. But whatever it was, it's left you in a in a position where you just don't know what else to do anymore. You know. So because of that, I do feel like there is there is someone coming in to assist you. With the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, I feel like this is some. This could be a motherly type of person, or man or woman, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, 
or this could even be you because the Queen of Cups can talk about um, using your intuition. And I feel like that that may be, yeah, I can go with along with that a little bit more than you may possibly have someone coming in to offer up some some help to help you um, gauge or decipher what happened because I feel like there's a lot of confusion here with this moon card. But I really feel like this is this is you really you know opening yourself up and allowing your intuition to flow and really getting into your feelings here because she's right up under the knight of swords and the, you know the knight of swords he's very passionate but he doesn't really he he's passionate but he doesn't feel thoroughly he he is he doesn't completely think about what he's doing when he does it this woman thinks about everything she, she and she has a good, you know, like a mother's intuition. She has an intuition about things. I feel like you kind of know, you know, you know, you know what transpired, what happened, what brought this confusion about. And once you start to own up, well, not say own up to it, but start to really see it, that's when this judgment card is going to start coming in. You're going to be looking at yourself, looking at others, like I said before. And I feel like you're going to be making some positive breakthroughs. Um, Self-awareness, becoming self-aware is, is a difficult task. I feel like a lot of this has to do with the death of the ego. Because um, I see this moon card is a lot of times um, how we present to others. We don't fully present ourselves to others. Maybe you hid some things from them. Maybe they hid some things from you. And things are being found out now. But, you know, nonetheless, I feel like, like I said, you know, for some of y'all in the the last, uh, the last bi-weekly, y'all had some situations going on. I think it was the last bi-weekly. Y'all had some situations going on and um, it didn't work out in your favor. But I feel like you're, this is like you towards it. You, you're getting over it. You're getting over it. You're moving past it. You're seeing it for what it is now. That's what I see too with this judgment card. You're seeing it for what it is now. And you've learned the lesson. With the six of six of wands. You can you can you've now learned the lesson. Now that you've learned the lesson, you can get back on your horse and you can ride out and continue on. Okay? And that's why I I say, you know, here at the at the end. You have the high priestess and the fool card. It's like you know what? You're realizing that you're more self-sufficient than, than you give. You're more powerful and more self-sufficient than you've given yourself credit for. So you know, throughout this situation, whatever this was, you you've learned that you know you can see how resilient you are. If there were, you have found a newfound strength with this with this six of wands here. I feel like this is a newfound strength that you have. And you're, you're going to be displaying this to other people. You know, not in an arrogant way. But you're going to be coming off more confident. You know, the things that other people tried to pull over you before is not going to work anymore. Because you know who you are. You have self-awareness now. This comes after the judgment card. You're seeing things for how they really are. Not jaded with this moon card. You know? You may there may have been some episodes of you just maybe you or somebody else just delusional how this a uh, certain situation should go. But you know what? Clarity comes in. Clarity comes in because you're able to open your eyes and take a look at yourself. Take a look at the situation. And um you're understanding now and you get it. So yeah, you you're gonna be riding down on your heart your high horse. Okay? Just just know that that's that's a wonderful, 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 wonderful way to be in and out this year. To be riding on your high horse, not giving a fuck. Damn near skinny skinny dipping at the lake. <laughs> just being footloose and fancy free like she don't she doesn't care. She is free because why is she self aware? She has knowledge of self. She knows who she is, she knows where she comes from, she knows where she's going. And once you have, and this could be a man too, but you know, fearless is a person that ha that has self awareness, because you can't 
You can't run shit on them. Well, I, I'm not gonna say that, but it's gonna be damn near. It's gonna be very difficult to run something on somebody like this because they've seen it all. They've been there. They got the T-shirt. They did it. You know, they've been there, done that. And so, yeah, this is this is. That's why you don't give a damn now about jumping out and doing your own thing because you know you live to tell the tale. I feel like this is a this is a cycle. I feel like this is a cycle. Um, complete. We didn't get the world card here, but I feel like this is a cycle that has completed for you. And, um, it's like he's traveled through all, you know, he's traveled through all the signs in the zodiac. He's coming back again. He's ready. He's going to try it again. You haven't lost faith. That's the beautiful thing about it. You know, you didn't, um, convince yourself that you're a broken person and you can't move on you're ready to move forward and go on to the new year some making a clean fresh start here so that's a beautiful thing guys so i just want to um congratulate you you know the, the journey of self-awareness is a shit it, it's beautiful it's chaotic but it's well worth it in the end because now you know, you've gained something about yourself that no one can ever take away from you, Virgo. So that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. When you can come into yourself and be unapologetically, authentically yourself, yo, you're unstoppable. And so I feel like you're heading into 2016 with a very positive attitude. You're doing away with the people, like I said, that are no longer, that they no longer serve you. You've learned some lessons. You on a spiritual level, you have done some growing up and mature and mat you matured. Some maturation has occurred here for you guys over um, the year 2015, and that's a beautiful way to start off the new year and with wonderful, fresh energy and feeling confident and self-aware. So if this resonates with anyone and you would like a personal reading or, you know, you want to do a yearly reading with me, um, hit me up. My link is in the description box. I would love to read for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.